it's my first day at work it's monday i couldn't really talk to you guys when i was in the car my morning was crazy we'll talk about that when i get home but i'm at work um i'm in the washroom obviously i'm excited i love it here it's i just i'm, I'm so grateful i can't even tell you guys how grateful i am uh, but yeah good morning i will check back in with you guys when i get home imagine the girls on here all the boys on here go to the back okay nobody's talking to you but the girls on here my monthlies came today my monthlies literally like i've had to cover myself with this because it's bad <laughs> i'm ashamed <laughs> first of all my car broke down uber took over 40 minutes to get to my house so i was late for work i got to work at 8 30 and then now, my monthlies is here, and I have soiled myself. What a day! <laughs> what a day! Today's not. I don't even know. Like, what type of day is it? I'm about to go home. I'm about to go home because I obviously can't stay here like this. Something literally told me to dress, and like you know, take sanitary towels. I didn't. I should have listened to my instincts. My instincts was telling me this morning, do it. If you're going somewhere and you feel like the red lady is going to come, trust your instincts. Listen to that voice inside that is telling you to take the part. <laughs> I could cry right now. Hi guys, good morning. Let me put you down here. I'm on my phone right now. I've been vlogging with my phone this whole week. Um, I don't think I've said much because I said I work. Okay. So good morning again. Um, happy Wednesday. I'm working from home today. I don't think I've actually introed this vlog. So you're welcome to another weekly vlog. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Akusia. If you're a tenant subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what do you do? <laughs> Always do that. Anyway, so I'm working from home today, so I don't have to go into office. Again, my work schedule, my new work schedule is hybrid remote. So I get to work from home a few days and then work in office a few days. Then that works really well for me because you guys know my daughter is in daycare three days out of the week and then two days she's home. So that's kind of like how my work schedule is right now. And I love that for myself. I'm very grateful for this new opportunity. I don't take it for granted at all. Like your girl is in tech sales, just so you know. All right. It's giving tech sales. It's given cyber security. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of myself and how far I keep going up in the corporate ladder or just how far I keep pushing myself. Because, you know, this country is crazy. If you're an immigrant, people make you feel like it's not possible to get somewhere or do something for yourself in terms of like work and, you know, just trying to build a career life. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by now, besides the fact that I love being a mom, I love being a content creator and all of that. I also really love building myself career-wise. I love being that corporate girl because I do want to build myself. I love working, not like just working for someone, okay? I love working and helping people and learning and just, you know, being, using my brains. <laughs> I like school stuff too like it's very weird i feel like you guys haven't seen that part of me so much so it's kind of weird talking about it but i'm also that type of girl very much tech savvy you know so i really like that for myself um i like that i'm able to um i don't give up and i keep moving forward i keep pushing myself to go for even bigger roles that would challenge me and that's exactly what this job is and i'm very grateful for that um, I have never worked in tech sales. I definitely have 
you know customer service background a little bit of sales background administrative background <laughs> i have a lot of backgrounds so all put together i'm hoping to be a pro at this but currently i'm in training just getting hands-on with systems and tools and everything that i need to know to get me started my team is amazing i love them so far it's such a tight-knit team it's like a team of five people is insane and i'm the only black girl on my team literally the only black person on my team me <laughs> it's crazy my husband and i were talking about it this morning i'm literally the only black person like like almost 95 percent of our company i'm the only black person i can't even tell you guys how crazy that is to me but hopefully that means something good and not something crazy <laughs> but either way i'm at work today i'm home so i'm gonna get into working and doing the trainings that i have to do and i will check back in with you guys when it's time for lunch i have a whole hour lunch break so that's really good i can just decompress literally <laughs> and then come back feeling good so i just want to say good morning check in with you guys that you know how life is going sort of like an update because i feel like i haven't really spoken to you guys over the past few days but this is literally what's happening i'm working i'm training i'm in trainings so my schedule is like i'm learning writing a lot of stuff like because i need to have the information i don't want to find myself wanting this job is very much you're on your own type of thing so you have to have your information you have to make sure that even though they provide a training and everything you, you need to learn sort of to i feel like that's that's what my mind where my mind is at right now i'm like i need to get my information right i'm that type of person like i need to know what i'm doing <laughs> so i'm just gonna get back into a training um and again when it's time for lunch i will check back in with you guys and i will see you okay i hope you're having a good day pick up yourself and again take it from me it's possible okay if you want to work in corporate america it's very possible it might take time it might take a lot of work it might take you believing in the fact that you can and you deserve to work in these places and you can actually work there so again it's like crazy to me but i'm very grateful this is a good opportunity for me and i feel like this is a company that i'm gonna be in for the long run so love that and i'm grateful to god very grateful shout out to you god you did that <laughs> anyway you guys i'm gonna go back into my activity for the day and i will see you when i have to see you okay <laughs> Hey guys what's up so there is some noise in the background so if you hear that just know that my family is watching tv in the living room um but happy saturday i don't think i've really spoken to you guys much this week i think i did speak to you one day when i was working from home um but to be fair i've been working from home like all throughout the week it hasn't been a crazy week it's just been like a work week i have been swamped in work trainings and just like you know trying to get myself familiar with my new job and the new systems and you know this new whole new phase that i put myself into um i think i mentioned i told you guys that i'm in a whole new like environment when it comes to work i am currently in tech sales cyber security sales and just generally you know managed it services and so it's a whole new field for me. I have never worked in. I am definitely a tech savvy type of person. I like my technology. I'm invested in technology, but I've never worked in an industry where it's fully tech. And now I work in an industry where it's fully tech. It's really exciting for me, but for also, I mean, also for me, it's like a huge challenge because 
I am not the type of person that likes to fail at anything. So this past weeks or this past, I mean this past few days, I've just been like, I literally have been back in school. It feels like I've been back in class. And that's how my mind operates. Like I have to learn, I have to like get my information. I have to make sure that I know my facts just so that I don't sound uninformed. I hate to feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. Like it's a lot, but if you're in tech sales, you will know. Or if you know someone who's in tech sales, you kind of know how that goes. It comes to a lot of information and just making sure that you're informed and you know educating yourself about the product that you're selling and knowing how to sell yourself as a person. So I'm really excited because it's a whole new challenge for me, but also I am making sure that I have the right information just so that I feel confident because that's how, I feel like that's how I'm gonna be confident. If I have the information, then I can tweak it when I'm talking, but if I don't know what I'm saying, then it's like, what are you saying? So. Let me put down the TV because it's a little loud. I feel like next week I'm going to get into actual work. Um, and you know, when I get into actual work, I know what I'm talking about. Enough of the work talk. I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys have been seeing me for work this entire week and I don't want to talk about this again. So anyway, you guys, so I am here because I want to talk about a products that we have from Quartz Club. Quartz Club like strings chords club makes sense <laughs> so chords club is literally a jewelry brand um, they do minimal type of jewelry everyday type jewelry if you ask me that's what I'm gonna say if you're looking for everyday style jewelry be it earrings and you know just basically any type of jewelry you're looking for but just minimal and everyday style i think you would really like quartz club so this is the quartz club i'm gonna be working with them for the next few months or maybe the next year so um but i have i'm gonna be trying out some products from them and sharing them with you guys you know just basically telling you how i feel about their products and everything in this box i have two little earrings this is tragos piercing earrings um you can honestly use these anywhere that you have piercing just not the regular piercings in this area because it's not gonna look cute usually these type of earrings they're used for specific areas like your tragos you're like your i don't know the name for the other parts but like because i only have a tragos piercing and i love me a good tragos piercing so i think if you have um the not the traditional type of piercing but if you have like the all the other types industrial piercing and all of the different styles you're definitely going to love the quartz club so so in this box right here they sent me two different style jewelries see what they look like i feel like my camera is not doing justice to it so i have a very tiny pearl style earring right here and then I have a diamond stud style earring. So let me show you guys what they look like. This is the pearl style. And then this is the diamond style earrings. So again, they have a variety of styles that you can pick from. It's just all minimal style jewelry. If you're the type of girl that likes, um, you know, good quality pieces, but also pieces that are not like screaming loud and not all up in people's faces pieces that you can wear every day pieces that you know that this is like my go-to jewelry then i feel like you like quartz club so i'm gonna try and put one of these on i'm gonna um i'm gonna try to change my chagas piercing and then maybe do the diamond day one because i feel like that one will be really cute um but let me change it really quick and then i will show you guys what it looks like okay oh you guys this is what it looks like you guys see what that looks like? I feel like I'm not doing justice to how it really looks like. But this is such a pretty piece of jewelry. And another thing that caught me was how easy it was for me to put this on. If you have a Tragos piercing, you just know that changing your Tragos jewelry is almost impossible. It's like, it's literally a 9 to 5. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it takes forever to switch out the jewelry. And so, the one that I had on before... The leafy situation that I had on before, perfect, it's so easy to put on, so easy to take off. So in my mind, I was literally like feeling, I was dreading the whole process. I'm like, oh, this is about to take forever. This is such an invention. It comes with a pin. 
it's literally like a pin you just pin it inside and twist it and you're done like you don't have to struggle and it's actually so cute i like the diamondy situation it's like it's very minimal and honestly you know honestly i thought it was going to be like because it's bling bling diamond i felt like it was going to be in your face it's actually not oh this is so cute it's like it's so cute it's actually really cute i think i really like it i like it i am going to leave a link for you guys i do have a link with courts club so as always i'm going to leave everything on the screen and in the description box for you guys um so you can check them out if you're looking to shop affordable long-term everyday style jewelry courts club is your girl okay and with time i will definitely give you guys updates on how they, you know how they wear if they last long and all of that I will give you the quality update with time um, but for right now it's cute first impressions I'm impressed I love it I think it's cute so <laughs> I'll just give it time and then see how it goes but yeah you guys that's everything that I have from Courts Club today I don't really have any packages I'm not gonna lie I have my hair in a suin right now <laughs> The bundles are in, okay? So, this is what it looks like. My edges are out, and I'm trying to get used to the fact that this is my hair. This is me. This is my face without any wig. That's what I'm trying to get used to. I'm trying to get to used to my hair without any wig. My hair as it is. My face as it is. <laughs> like, it, it, I don't know if it makes sense to you guys, but like, I'm just trying to get used to this is me <laughs> like this is me like I want to wake up every morning and like this is me this is the reality of life <laughs> so I don't know what that is but that's just where I'm at right now so I'm gonna be wearing my hair out a lot and I figured that I would do you know the sewing taping stuff like that I feel like leaves my hair out and makes me like see the actual nature of my hair so moving forward I think that's what I'm gonna be doing a lot I have this that I installed yesterday so I'll keep that in up until the end of the month another challenge that I'm throwing myself when it comes to my hair is just wearing one hairstyle for a long time when I say a long time maybe three weeks four weeks a month you know stuff like that I feel like I should do that because doing a lot of things with my hair is definitely not helping and we know it <laughs> we know it so I'm trying to find ways to like put my hair away that is not just braids I feel like braids are boring. It's so difficult for me to style braids. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a lot more like hair extensions. Just so that I can get used to the fact that this is my face. This is my edges. And this is the situation. So yeah. <laughs> but anyway you guys. It's Saturday night. I did some grilling in the back. You guys didn't really see that. Because my camera went off. And all my batteries were dead. So I couldn't really like take you through the process. But I feel like today is one of the best days that I made steaks steak like i made steak and today is one of the days that i feel like is just the best like tell me why i may be making steak the whole time and it doesn't feel like what i did outside today it was so good it was perfectly cooked it was soft on the inside a little crunchy on the outside like it's perfect today's steak was perfect and i'm so happy about it i'm like it was top notch that's just what i wanted to have and i had it so my day has been good, honestly, really chilled, nothing crazy, cleaning the house, cooking, grocery, like just basic stuff, Saturday, basic Saturday lifestyle. I'm just going to go finish off my day watching some movies, editing, and tomorrow I'm going to be creating content for the rest of the week, and then Monday I go back to work, so that's literally my life right now. We're back in like work home mode, you guys know how these things go. When I'm working, I create content on Sundays and, you know, that's just what it is. So, yeah, this week has been slow. I don't think I have a lot of content for this week, but either way, I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. And then we can close off this week's vlog and hopefully we can get a lot more content next week. But, yeah. Anyway, you guys, I am going to go chill for right now and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm just on here to close off the vlog. I literally just wanted to jump on here really quick to close off the vlog. It's Sunday. I have been creating content pretty much all day. 
if you can tell from what my face is looking like um, and I'm in the process of editing the vlog and I just wanted to like end it off on a nice note so thank you so much for watching this week's vlog it was very short sort of like a week week vibe so I hope you liked it I'm hoping the next week will be a lot more activities I'm not so sure if you know me you know I barely go anywhere so it's like it's always the same kind of things but you already know the vibes it's supposed to be chill and like you know home vibes around here so that's the vibe that it's giving okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog i hope that you liked it and i will see you guys in the next week's vlog okay bye when they say she get it from her mama I'ma say you fuck her right Your body will be slum for like Tell me in the hall But come tell me is you down Cause I'm tryna go good tonight I'm hoping she slept her right